Welcome to Female Sexual Arousal Pattern Explained, but for purposes of clickbait, how women get horny. All right, now that we've gotten that part out of the way, let's dive right on in, shall we? Masters and Johnson created a super comprehensive sexual response model that we're going to use today. It explains the act of sex in four parts, excitement to plateau to orgasm to resolution. For today's video though, we are only focusing on the first two, excitement and plateau. During the excitement phase, a woman sees something or someone attractive. At this point, her pupils may dilate, her heart rate increases, her skin will flush, her lips may deepen in color and become larger in size and this rush also reduces cognitive thinking which is why in this phase we often say and do things a little out of the ordinary for us now most of us experience excitement several times a day but usually nothing goes down and that kind of just goes away when we actually engage with another human being or we're on the computer and we see something particularly interesting that is when we move into plateau phase <laughs> Now, plateau phase is when a woman starts to get really worked up and the glands around the opening of the vagina and inside the canal begin to secrete a dense mucus-like substance. Not so fun fact, this fluid, because it is very dense in nature, is at high risk of carrying sexually transmitted infections and diseases, which is why protection is very important even prior to any kind of penetration. Now, during this time, also, the nipples become erect and most importantly, the vaginal canal now lengthens sometimes double approximately eight inches and the muscles relax I want to direct your attention over to terrible diagram number two where we'll talk about the clitoris little known fact is that women also have both erectile tissue and foreskin when a woman is aroused the clitoral hood which is the skin covering the clitoris peels back to expose the larger erect clitoris now this entire transformation that the female body undergoes can take up to 20 minutes versus men who can go from zero to hero, sometimes in a matter of seconds. But it's important to look at this not as a drag, which is why I hate songs like The Dreams. I can give a fuck about the foreplay. But as something wonderful and fun, like a play that unfolds one act, one beautiful act at a time. Also, what's super important is if you skip this part, a lot of women complain that sex is uncomfortable and painful. That's right, dry, tight, the cervix is hanging too low. And when sex is painful, it is not desired. When it's not desired, you end up not having a great reciprocal sex life. So now that you guys have the basic facts, I urge you, start asking questions or experimenting with your own body. How does your own sexual response cycle work? How does arousal work for you? How long does it usually take? And what do you need? All of these fun answers to these questions will allow you to get the most out of and enjoy the experience in order to get to the orgasm phase, which we won't cover in this video, but stick around kids. <laughs> you might learn a thing or two mo. Looks good, smells good, feels good, but most importantly is like her authentic self. Also, you know, I like some soft lips, you know what I'm saying? That also helps. Here's a list of five women that I think could get the business on the lips.